hi students today we are going to see about nomenclature so each organisms have to be nominated by this process so here this in all probability this words must to be new to you because of this is a different different name of organisms okay but they all mean human in different foreign languages so here there are presently more than 6000 languages in the world and an animals can be named in more than 6000 ways okay so this unfortunately it is impossible for anyone to have a good functioning knowledge of most languages so we know about the uh, language of uh, english tamil hindi marathi then telugu italics okay so here how much languages are there how many languages then 6000 languages so this hence this arises a need for a universally accepted scientific names to animals or taxonomic group is called nomenclature so for example the world wild the scientific name of homo sapiens so this homo sapiens means human okay the scientific name is known as homo sapiens the uh, genus name and species name so this is for binomial nomenclature okay so here it plays a vital role in the arrangement of known species first thing it is a known species so the based on the similarities and dissimilarities okay this here this nomenclature it plays a vital role in the arrangement of species known species based on the similarities and dissimilarities so there's numerous characters such as that is in the first one morphology second one genetic information third one habitat fourth one feeding pattern and fifth one adaptations and sixth one evolution so this characters are examined before an organism is named so one of the primary responsibilities of systematic biology is the development of biological nomenclatures and classifications so this nomenclature is not an end of systematics and taxonomy but it is necessary in organizing informations about biodiversity it's need it's very important to need for biodiversity so only the uh, particular animals are nominated by nomenclature process so the naming of that is a nomenclature functions to provide names for all taxa at all level in the hierarchy of life that is a taxonomical hierarchy means you know about the first one the kingdom phylum class order then family then genus and species so these are the hierarchy of life so naming of the organisms is done based on the guidelines of the international code for zoological nomenclatures that is an international code for zoological nomenclatures so this scientific names ensures that each organisms has only one name okay each organisms has only have has only one name so here the particular organisms have a one name that is an genus name and species name so the nomenclatures have to be divided into binomial nomenclatures and trinomial nomenclatures what is an binomial nomenclatures for example homo sapiens human the homo means genus name and the sapiens means species name so this corvus splendens splendens that is an trinomial nomenclatures genus name species name and subspecies name so particular dissimilarity have to be identified in the trinomial nomenclatures but the binomial nomenclatures similarities and dissimilarities have present okay so this only nomenclatures the next video we have to uh, see about the differentiate of uh, 
binomial and trinomial okay thank you yeah.